Welcome back to Top for Repairs. Today's topic, I'm going to tell you guys how to fix P219A air fuel ratio imbalance. First, make sure the engine is warmed up and engine temperature is at least 160 degrees and up. And also, make sure your vehicle is in closed loop. Next, check the short term fuel trim. For a good fuel trim, I want to see the number between negative 10 and 10%. Next, make sure the engine RPM is steady at idle. The number should be between 600 to 1000 at startup. And after the engine warm up, idle should be steady around 700 to 800. Next, make sure your air and fuel ratio sensors are working properly by checking for codes. Those are going to be the minimum requirement before you start diagnosing P219A. Now, why are you getting P219A? And the answer is simple. The air and fuel ratio data should be within the manufacturer specification. When it is outside the manufacturer specification, you're going to get that code. There are a lot of reasons why you're getting P219A. And I'm going to tell you guys some of the highest possibilities. First, start by checking for a bad oxygen sensor. Make sure you're not getting codes for bad oxygen sensor. If you're getting cold, make sure you replace it. If the oxygen sensor is not failing yet, but it's on its way, check for pending code. Maybe the oxygen sensor code might show up in the pending code section. Next, check for an engine misfire. Check for codes between P0300 to P0310. P0300 is going to be codes for a random misfire and P0310 to P0310 is going to be an engine misfire for cylinder number one to cylinder number 10. Next, check for a vacuum leak. If you're getting P0300, you might have a vacuum leak. So listen for hissing noise. And if the engine is stalling at idle, there's a chance that you might have a vacuum leak. Next, your engine might be running rich. You might get codes for P0172, rich code for bank number one, or P0175, for rich code for bank number two. Also, you might get lean codes. So check for P0171 uh, lean codes for bank number one and check for P0174 lean codes for bank number two. Next, you might have a faulty or dirty mass airflow sensor. So make sure to check for codes and make sure to clean the mass airflow sensor with mass airflow sensor cleaner. Next, you might have a failing or clogged catalytic converter. So make sure you check for P0420 code. If your vehicle is equipped with a MAP sensor, make sure you're not getting MAP sensor code. Those are the highest possibilities why the air and fuel ratio is off. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.